They call him Sitin, the man of legends. Hello and welcome to Rift Gameplay 2015, probably a very very generic title that you decided to type into YouTube because you played Rift at launch or maybe a couple of years ago and want to see what the game looks like now and what kind of direction it has taken, excuse me that was my phone. But anyway, welcome to the video. So today we're going to be spending about 5 to 10 minutes just showing off a bit of Rift gameplay uh, in 2015 and talking about what has actually changed and what kind of stuff, you know, is going on and is going to be happening in the year 2015. So uh, as you can see, right at the moment we are in the plane of water so for those of you who haven't played rift in the last few months a uh, big expansion came out called rift nightmare tide uh kind of brought this new whole new zone known as the plane of water raised the level cap to 65 uh brought three new massive zones like the zones are considerably bigger than most uh, of the old world zones and they are just they're pretty well designed you're probably looking at this and going i hate underwater content i hate being underwater but it transitions pretty smoothly, as you are going to see in a minute. Also, you'll notice I'm riding a shark. They added underwater mounts as well. So that is uh, that is pretty damn cool if you like riding sharks. I believe there are a large variety of mounts that can be made underwater just by, uh, you know, uh, the cash shop and adding uh, the underwater skill to uh, pretty much one of your existing mounts. So as you can see, the combat is still pretty fluid and fun. I mean, um, in regards to kind of the PC requirements for Rift, um, I do have a uh, a pretty a pretty vigorous setup in order to uh, run this at a decent graphics and a high FPS. So it still does have some fairly high system requirements, but you can you know enjoy the game on a much lower setting if you do have kind of like the average PC. So you know it isn't too bad. And as you can see, the whole expansion isn't underwater. This is the not underwater place and that is pretty much like 90 plus percent of every zone they just like to mix it up a bit which personally i think is pretty cool and pretty fun you know i like that a lot i like that a lot so uh for any of well for those of you who might be curious this is actually the cleric class known as inquisitor i find it a ton of fun to play and it is still my favorite class in the game just because it's basically kind of a very, very mobile and hard-hitting caster. Um, if I stand still, I can deal, you know, a lot more damage because I have, uh, I'm able to cast a harder-hitting bolt. Uh, but, you know, I can run around, dot everything up, and uh, basically heal myself via damaging abilities and abilities such as the judicial privilege. So that is pretty damn cool. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's pretty sweet. So, yeah, just taking down some Marion Tide Coolers who are obviously one of the larger nemesis in the Nightmare Tide expansion. So as we kind of um, go through, you see it's kind of got a very interesting art style for 3.0. It's very, um, very kind of, uh, I, don't, I don't really know the word for it, apart from magical. You know, it's it's very, very cool, especially in Gabor Reef. Um, the zones get a lot weirder. You have Dromheim, which stands for, which is, I believe it's German for Dream City. And that's basically a zone. I'll just quickly port to it. Uh, also, you got these Romo Porticulums, so you can port them pretty much anywhere. No waiting about for Griffins. It is a ton of fun, and I always hated those arbitrary 10 to 15 minute flights in World of Warcraft, which I still do play actually, you know, I'm actually having quite a bit of fun in the new WoW expansion. But yeah, this is, uh, this is Dromheim, so Dream City, it also has a layer of water above it, um, but as you will be able to see, you can drop down pretty much anywhere in the zone, and boom, you are back to the loveliness that is Dromheim and all of its wonder. So yeah, that is pretty sweet. Dromheim is uh, one of my favorite zones. It is a bit cl uh, clustered in the middle, but apart from that, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty cool. I do enjoy it. Now, in regards to the general state of the game, very, very simply, the game is still not pay to win. Um, you can throw money on the game and get kind of a boost on the very kind of, uh, well, the non-best in slot currencies like expert gear. Um, well, currently you only really have two tiers of endgame. You got uh, the expert gear and you have the raid gear. Uh, you can't buy the raid gear, you can buy the expert gear. So, you know, 
make of that what you will. I still don't really classify that as uh, pay to win because you know if I'm actually raiding, if I'm playing the game, then I'm going to get better gear than anybody that uh, you know just chunks down a load of money in the game. So that's pretty cool. Uh, gear progression has been unified, so there's no longer PVE or PVP gear. Um, there is just gear that you have, uh, so you don't have like your separate pieces of gear, which to be honest, um, now that it's gone live and it's been live for a couple of months, I think is quite a bad idea. It has just really removed most of the sense of progression and accomplishment for PvP, just in very, very basic terms in my opinion. Like, to be honest, there's not too much point doing PvP, you can PvE and get much better gear. And there isn't really kind of an equal term of progression because you can't reliably get the amount of raid gear that you get from PvE from PvP. So yeah, I kind of think they fucked that up a bit and hopefully, well, they say they're looking at it and possibly might make some changes. I really hope they reverted to a similar system kind of pre-expansion where there was separate PvP progression, that would be pretty sweet. You know, I would really like that. Or go down the similar route as World of Warcraft and kind of make a bolstering system so the PvP gear is still useful in PvE just when you like have the PvP gear on in PvP it becomes like supercharged and better than pretty much anything you're gonna get in PvE so that's the kind of thing I'd like to see uh, but apart from that yeah it's, it's it's pretty good like I am having an absolutely uh, wonderful time you know I've taken a break from Rift uh, just slightly over the holidays but it's definitely something that I'm gonna get back into because I do want to clear Mount Shirax and they are basically dropping some big content bombs um, I believe in about a month's time they're going to release uh, an additional zone called Tyrants I, I believe it's Tyrants Island? Uh, I, that's totally wrong, but the, the, it comes with like a, it's a new zone and a new raid called Tyrants Forge, which is pretty good, you know, there's, there's no lack of things to do in the game at the moment. So that's pretty much it for Rift Gameplay 2015. If you're looking for more class-specific videos, such as, you know, you want to see saying more on uh, clerics, more on mages, more on warriors, feel free to check out the YouTube channel. We have tons and tons of content on there, um, you know, throughout for Rift throughout the years, and by the time you probably get through to that, there's just going to be a ton of stuff in the new year. So thank you for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed this kind of stuff, subscribe to the channel. If you didn't enjoy it, then fuck you. Apart from that, have a wonderful day, and uh, yeah, I hope you uh, hope you find a lot of money on the floor today. Take care.